Go, 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 and on the count of three. Go, 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 and on the count of three. Go, 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 on the count of three. Everybody, everybody, it is your girl, Biggie, Brittany, whatever you want to call me, it's your girl. So, welcome back to my channel if you haven't already. Um, subscribe it's for free so today's video is purely me purely just me um kind of releasing some things i've been going through some things uh these past couple of months a big part of it being like post uh, postpartum post-grad depression and if you don't know what post-graduation depression is it's just basically feeling like you're not in the space where you need to be at their college sometimes your friends may go off um to have our to already like have jobs waiting for them after they've graduated college things of that nature and that's kind of what i've been going through because i'm the friend that didn't what was i saying oh i was saying so post-grad depression is when you're going when you're just depressed about not feeling like you're in this in the right place um because i have friends that's got jobs right after school and they moved off and everybody's living like their best freaking life while i'm still stuck in my hometown after college working not that it's a shitty job but it's not the job that i want you know and i'm not following my dreams i'm not even working in the field of my degree so it's just kind of like uh, right now i'm not there where i want to be it's like harboring my my dreams and it's like putting up i don't know how to describe it but just making me sad as hell i don't like this shit like i just been going through a lot that's just one thing the second other thing was just like just depression like just regular depression not being happy with myself and where i feel like i, I should be in life and not seeing any progress from all of this work I, all the work i feel like i've been putting in because i've been putting in a lot of work y'all y'all just don't know um oh a couple other things is um other than my suicidal thoughts and just not feeling happy with myself um the people around me like they've just been using me as an emotional dump and i just don't appreciate that shit i don't get it it's like i have a sign on my forehead it's, i'm receptive to all bullshit or something i have no idea but every time somebody's going through something they just have the urge to call me or even strangers people that i talk to at my job they call and then they just feel like they have to tell the, tell me their entire life story. And I am sick of it. My feelings, I just, I haven't been feeling myself. You know, it's just a mix of all of those things. And it's just like, why not cut my hair, right? So yeah, um, tomorrow I get my hair done. I am doing a big chop and it's gonna be TWA style. So I'm going low, 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 okay? and i'm not coloring my hair because this is simply to just grow my hair out and to embark on a new journey like i need a new journey i need freshness i need something new in my life and i think um doing the big chop is gonna like first of all take a weight off my shoulders <sighs> like i if you know me you know i'm not a fan of uh, short hair i talked to men about this yesterday but they just men they don't know what the hell they be talking about right I'm sorry, I'm looking down at my phone. My sister just texted me. And um, man, I, I told my homegirl, like we was all hanging out at my homegirl house and her guy friends was there too. Well, roommates, whatever you wanna call those niggas. Um, they, I was like, girl, I'm thinking about cutting my hair. Like I'm, I'm big chopping and shit. It's time to let everything go, right? Niggas in their opinions, oh, why you doing that? That's not like a woman. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, nigga, you don't even keep up your haircut, bro. My haircut, it's, it's gonna look better than that shit, you feel me? That's number one. Number two, he was like, oh, if um if I was your man, I'm like, but you are my man. And if I was your woman, first of all, if you was my man, my man support me in everything that I got going on, including me cutting my goddamn hair. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come in and talk about that. Uh, I'm going to do like a part two or I'm going to just come back later on so we can discuss some things and like just delve deep into why I'm cutting my hair. 
Um, peace out. Today's the day, and I don't really have no feelings towards it. I'm not scared, I'm not nervous, to be honest, I'm just chilling. I washed my hair yesterday just to like wash, kind of wash out the dirt from when I had the braids because I really didn't do anything after I took out my uh, wig prep braids or whatever you have or whatever you want to call it or whatever. And yeah, so I'm just waiting. It's Right now it's 2.51, so I got like an hour and a half before I go to get my hair done. Just just to give y'all an idea uh, give y'all an idea why I'm doing this is because um, I just been going through a lot and I need a refresher. Other than me like cutting my hair, I am changing other things around me in my life that I to make me happier if that makes sense. The people that's in my life or the people that were in my life. You either stayed or you left for a reason and I'm accepting that, I'm okay with that. I am using this kind of as like a tool to excel from this moment, if that makes sense. I've been praying for this moment, honestly. So it's just fulfilling and amazing that it's finally coming. Like People always talk about doing things in your time and it, this being my time it is me taking my time to get to this very moment and it had to be that way so I can learn certain things. You feel what I'm saying? Like I had to go through some things to really like become the person that I'm becoming. Like I'm so proud that my attitude is changing for the better. Like. It's funny because I've watched myself like go through many moons, like, yeah, I've seen myself go through many moons and the course, over the course of time, I feel like I've changed maybe two times. I've changed like two times. And I can point out where the times that I changed from being an innocent girl, innocent young girl that was cool with everybody and I was everybody's friend, but everybody wasn't my friend and that hurt me. I changed from that person to like a very bitter person to where I had friends, just to have friends and they weren't benefiting me and it was hurting me. And I allowed people, certain people to hurt me and things to hurt me. And then maybe I changed three times. Then I stopped, uh, no, this is the third change. It's funny that I'm saying this now because it's like I had to, like I said before, I had to go through things to like get to this point. <sighs> So I'm happy. Um, that was a sigh of relief if you couldn't tell. Oh, also, I'm happy that this change is happening because maybe a couple of days ago, maybe, shit, even yesterday, I was unhappy. I, two days ago, I was unhappy with my life, unhappy with myself and the things that I had going on. I felt like I wasn't doing, the progress that I was making wasn't being it wasn't satisfying enough for me. Like I didn't feel, I don't feel like I'm progressing. So yeah, I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like I'm on this journey to, you know, go through these things and do all of this. So yeah, that's where I am right now. I go to get my hair done at 4.30. Right now it's just three o'clock. It is 2.55 on the dot. I'm so freaking excited. I'm ready, I'm anxious. That's the only really feeling that I'm, I'm having right now. I'm just anxious to see what it's gonna be like and what my life is gonna be at, like after this. So yeah. Oh, and if you don't know, I am on social media hiatus right now. I'm not on Instagram and I'm not on Facebook at the moment, but I am using like Facebook Messenger because some people don't have my number because they don't need to. So yeah, me and my janky ass fro, we gonna wait till 4.30 and yeah, peace out. Everybody run back to your fantasy now Go, 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 go And on the count of three Go, 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 go And on the count of three Go, 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 go And on the count of three Everybody run back to your fantasy now Freaky like the daughter of a pastor Said I was bait for her to master Little red Corvette, now she was faster Wet dreams with mad cream to bath her We make love and then laughter 
and any wig I wanted I could have for. Hey guys, so I'm back and this is what my head looks like. I'm gonna show like a better version of this video. I just, I'm driving right now and I wanted to come and show you everybody. Oh shit, let me get over. But that's why I shouldn't be recording and uh, driving at the same time so I'm gonna keep you guys low. But I just wanted to come and talk to you guys really quickly and show you my head and what it looks like now because I have no freaking hair on my goddamn head i look crazy dog i don't look crazy i i feel crazy like i feel good though like i definitely feel liberated for sure like i look kind of cute too um i feel liberated though i feel good i'm just like shook shocked yeah peace and blessings guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl biggie or whatever you want to call me <laughs> So I'm just following up a day, a few days after chopping off all of my hair. Um, so I just want to come and talk to you guys about a couple of things of why I did cut my hair, how I'm feeling after my haircut, and yeah. So let's just hop into the video, shall we? So you guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for even sharing this experience with me if you've seen in the previous clips. Um, I kind of took you on the journey of me going to get the haircut and seeing my haircut, getting the big chop or whatever you want to call it. Just to start off, I recently um, graduated from Florida A&M University in December. Well, it's not recent. It feels six months ago, but that's still technically kind of recent. Yeah. Um, but I did graduate back in December of 2018. And since then, I've just been going through a couple of things. Um, so one of them starting with i didn't get my degree until literally i cut my hair i cut my hair and the next day i got my degree in the mail i was so happy but because i didn't receive my degree on time like it was supposed to be mailed out at least a month after we graduated and i did not receive it for six months and i that kind of added to my depression but we we're going to get into that in a second so just to take you back there just to give you an idea where my head was back then in january i was kind of rekindled with an ex-boyfriend um i was already like close friends with his cousin and we were good friends like i just no beef between us now like me with none of them like i don't beef with none of them i'm good but um at the time we were all hanging out like like heavy everybody came to my graduation including my ex-boyfriend like things were looking up but something didn't feel right if that makes sense so in the midst of all of this and me meeting new people and allowing new energies to come in my life kind of it kind of like brought me down like i felt i didn't feel bad for myself but certain people are in different places than i am right now obviously and it just made me depressed and i wasn't happy with myself and seeing people seeing the people around me not doing anything to help themselves or help me like made matters worse. Me and my ex-boyfriend, we didn't have a big blow up, but he did something so out of line to where the point was like, I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I like, I cut him off. I cut off his family. Like I just couldn't deal with it no more. Cause it's like, I kind of, I felt like they fed his behavior and nobody cared about me in a way, sort of. Um, I fell out with one of my closest cousins. We got into a physical fight and I broke my nails. And even though like to me, she deserved it in a, in a like in a family way. It's like you just have to respect the people that's older than you. And when the children, I don't know, it's just a thing with adults and kids. Kids should not be around while adults are having conversations. And I've asked you to step out, you should step out. But then it became a problem, all of that. I just don't want to go back into it. Old people should not be in children's business, right? And children shouldn't be in grown folks' business, right? My family has a huge problem with like distincting the two. They feel like everybody's pretty much the same. Dealing with that kind of didn't put me in a place of depression, but what my cousin did, my cousin's mother, um, my other cousin, she did something like so foul and publicly, like you lied on my name and then you, you basically defamed me and you continue to talk shit like, like, I don't know. Either way, it really hurt me. 
and dealing with the people around me always just coming to me with their problems it, it had just become to be too much like it literally became too much to the point where i i was cussing people out i was cutting people off and me and my best friend literally got into a huge blowout and i don't know if we're best friends anymore but truth be told like we are not talking right now like we are not talking at all and maybe that's because he feel like I need to say something to him and I personally feel like he need to say something to me and it's like you know when a person feel like somebody need to say something before they say something they just not gonna say nothing at all so it's like we just left it alone at this point so I'm okay with that not talking about it and just leaving it where it was and just literally leaving it I'm okay with that like in this very moment I feel better about myself if that makes sense and I'm only saying that because I felt so stressed about trying to maintain things that I really don't have control over trying to create things that I don't have control over at this point and uh, cutting my hair was almost like a weight being lifted off of my shoulders like I feel so refreshed so liberated I'm not angry like that's my main thing I'm not angry with anybody or anything or nothing like I feel good I've just been accepting things literally these past it's been about five days since I had my hair cut I was supposed to make this update right after but I'm not gonna lie to you I was still emotionally attached to certain things when I had my hair from when I had my hair and I literally need I something just wasn't right I didn't feel right to film at this at the time so I kind of like left it alone and I just dealt with it before I can, you know, come and face you guys. So, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> no, for real, no, I'm happy. Like, I feel kind of like in control of my life now. I know the things that I have to do to make myself better. And I'm receptive of everything that I have coming for me. So, I felt like the hair that I had really was how I felt like my hair was straggly it, it looked like it was stressed out um and that was from when i chopped my hair when i first began college up until me chopping it just now because technically that hair was my college hair like i didn't have that hair back from high school like i've had that hair in college and stuff like it's been with me through college and i literally hurt my hair the things that i was going through was showing through my hair and it was so obvious and i was always trying to cover up and you know what's funny now that i'm hearing myself say it it was like my wigs were masks and i hate to be all deep and stuff like this but it has to be said you know like i was wearing hair i was wearing weave and stuff and it was almost like a mask i wasn't being myself and it trickled down into like my feelings and all that and i was just like i'm tired of my hair looking crazy i'm tired of feeling crazy i'm tired of like just looking and being and feeling completely all over the place so i was like i gotta chop my hair and that's where i am now today this is naturally me no makeup no weave no nothing just me and my buzz cut <laughs> it's cool it's whatever you know it's been hard to like look in the mirror and like feel pretty in a strange way it's not that i'm looking i'm not even looking to be pretty anymore i'm just looking to be myself and i guess that's the beauty in cutting off all your hair i needed change i needed to see the change so i can feel the change if that makes sense like if i saw the change that means i can start changing and doing things you know fixing and maneuvering things in my life that i felt i already felt like i needed to change you feel what i'm saying it feels like it's been good luck, honestly. Literally, like I stated earlier, when I cut my hair the next day, my degree came in the um, the mail. But it's just been positive, positivity, and I've been very appreciative of it. Not being on social media and not posting that I cut my hair has been so like fulfilling because right now I don't feel the need to go and show people that I cut my hair that was honestly my biggest challenge when I first did it I was like well am I gonna like pause my hiatus to like go show and I was like no like I don't need to do that and I felt like I don't have to because it's like 
I'm this I'm not doing this I did not cut my hair for other people I cut my hair for Brittany that's literally the lesson in all of this learning to start learning to do things for myself and not other people I hope this video can do something for you as a person um not just cutting your hair because you feel like it looks a mess you know or if you're a person that's depressed or anything find change find out what you feel like you need to change find out a few things that you feel like you need to change and make a major change major changes can allow the smaller changes to creep up on you and just happen i hope that i was able to help you through stress through you trying to you know figure out if you want to cut your hair or not don't be afraid don't be afraid like first of all if you're afraid that you just gonna cut your hair and your hair is not gonna grow out, grow back it's going to grow back if you take care of your hair take care of your hair like you are taking care of a child if you're not taking care of yourself nothing else around you will work out and that's what i'm learning i have to take care of myself more and i'm doing just that and taking care of myself and loving myself more i'm having better results simple as that i have better results when i take care of myself so again i hope this video really and truly helped you in your depression uh, if you are afraid of getting your hair cut um, or if you're just going through something, I hope that I was able to assist you in ushering you into a new light, a light of change. This is your girl Biggie and I'm signing out. Peace, love, and blessings. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll holla at y'all in the next video. Peace. Uh, on a count of three, everybody run back to your fantasy.